Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is just an update regarding the most recent prediction that I made last week um, regarding um, the vision I had about a new, a new illness or health uh, issue uh, affecting people all over the world or in the current <clears throat> current um, atmosphere of the global health concern. Um, now, I was very saddened to see the news. It's a very sad thing, to, especially when you see these things affecting innocent children. Um, and it makes one really... Um, think about what it is exactly that's going on. Obviously, I don't believe that it's my place to question um, really um, what is going on on any kind of spiritual level. Um, however, it could be related to the, the fact that the immunity of people has been um, affected by um, the, the pandemic, okay? Um, I did say in my, I did see in my vision that this was going to be something that was connected to water and I mentioned specifically droplet transmission in the vision. So if you go back and listen to that video, you will see that, okay? I have been advised by Spirit to uh, record this to highlight the fact that this has been predicted by myself and I'm sure by many other um, psychics or seers all, all around the world. The important point to note here is that we have to stand together and in solidarity in fighting anything that comes forward and challenges us, challenges us as a community or as a whole, okay? The important thing here is to stay strong and to stay calm because this is something that has been predicted so therefore there is a plan for it okay a higher plan a higher purpose for it even though that will elude some especially if someone has been affected by it directly i am keeping everyone in my prayers okay i am keeping one every everyone in my prayers and it has really, um, it, it, it's very hard to see these things, okay? It, it did make, make me um, very emotional and I did cry about it for a couple of hours actually because when you see these things affecting children, it's not nice. Um, now, there is also another point I would like to make here that is important that I've been advised to say this, okay? The issue is, not, is, is quite serious and we have to do our best to be safe, okay? And, and that's why I have been telling people since September, if you go to my September prediction about the worsening of the health situation towards the end of the year, and I specifically said November, it did happen in November, and then now in, no in November I got another vision which happened, or in early December, I got another vision, which happened now after a week. They said, the Spirit said specifically a week, and it happened after a week, exactly. It surprised me. I still get surprised by my predictions, okay? I still get surprised when they come true. But the issue here, the actual issue that I would like to highlight here is that, like I mentioned in the prediction video, and like Spirit have communicated to me, there is some sort of delusion, okay? There is something else 
that is going to appear okay it is not just this one and it's not just the one we had originally okay there's something else that is going to appear okay and i do feel that it's um this is not the new pestilence okay i have to say that this strep thing is not really the new pestilence that was i have seen in the vision but i did see a turn of events in a week's time that would be negative and that there would be two th two main things around which was the coronavirus and this strep um, infection watch out for your children we all have children we all have youngsters and they go to school okay and i have protected my own uh family spiritually okay and the youngsters in my family i have gone to great lengths to protect them okay and of other people who have sought my help for this spiritual protection spiritual energy is real and we can protect ourselves okay there is there are things that can be done that will lessen the chance of people getting any kind of catching any kind of illness and this has been born of the plagues and the pain that have been people have been going through for the last few thousand years so there are recipes that are quite foolproof okay i have published one recipe here on the channel if you cannot afford this kind of thing because it, it is expensive it requires a lot of energy so that the protection is very foolproof okay i have published a free recipe for those who cannot afford to to purchase the protection that we do um so look back in the videos and try and get the herbs and do it the way i've described it exactly okay please do not invent things or add anything to the recipe that i have posted okay look back in the channel in the videos i'm going to do my best to try and leave the the link i'm pressed with time but i will try and uh, leave the link to that protection here having a spiritual protection does not mean that you rely on it a hundred percent or even fifty percent for that matter in my heart, I believe that it can provide 100% protection, but that does not mean that we stay laid back. For example, with our children, we can stop them from going to school, okay, which um, I believe will happen anyway, okay, people are going to do this because it's not, not worth the risk, you know, we can't afford to lose any more lives, so I feel that... Um, if anyone is connected to public health who's listening to this, I believe that people, uh, children should be stopped from going to school for now, okay? Of course, it's not my decision to make, but this is just the advice I give from a spiritual perspective, okay? None of these things is going to get better, okay, anytime soon. It will take its time, it will take its course, and then, like I said, there is another virus that is coming as well. There is going to be something new. So do, the delusion that I have been speaking about in the, in, the, in the last prediction is exactly about this. That this will appear. There will be the original corona and this strep. But do not let it delude you from the fact that there is some actually another kind of virus coming. Okay. The virus is not a coronavirus it is something else okay and it will take time to fully understand it okay but please be mindful of the fact that you are responsible for your health and for the health of those who are close to you you first not the government not anybody else please don't throw blame on anyone else okay the government are doing their best. People are doing their best to try and fight these things. Obviously, we can see that. But what I am trying to communicate here is not to let this delusion that we were talking about, a delusion in the last prediction, elude you from the fact that there is actually something else that's going on. If you are listening to this video, you are protected to an extent. I have said a prayer over this video so that it protect 
protects whoever listens to it, okay? So it protects you to a great extent. If you need spiritual protection, contact me, okay? Um, I will leave my email in the description um, if you need any kinds of readings or any other kind of spiritual advice. However, please be responsible with your own, for your own health and the health of your children, okay? And make your own decisions, okay? Please do not let anything or anyone else influence you for any financial reason to risk the health of yourself or those that you care about. This will be my advice from a physical and a spiritual perspective, okay? I pray to God the Most High that we see the end of this strep uh, issue very soon and very rapidly. We will be praying and every single spiritual protection that we do, we pray for the collective, everybody, everybody, without any prejudice or discrimination, whether they believe, whether they don't believe, this is not our business. Our business is to protect, okay? Let God be the judge of everything else, okay? We, we must not throw our energy to judge people, even people who we do not believe are on good terms with God. This is not our business. We, you don't really know. You, can, you have to go into a person's heart and nobody can do that really. Okay? Um, and I feel that everything will be okay ultimately in the end. And this is, like I said in the last prediction, this is part of a destined path. It's not going to be easy. It is turbulent. And I pray that you are all protected from all harm. May you all be happy, healthy, wealthy and loved in the most pure and highest degrees. May you be watched over and taken care of by all the powers that be. May you be united in love and compassion and may the way in front of you be clear and may God the Most High inspire you to make the right decisions about all your challenges moving forward. I love you guys so much. This was just an update uh, to follow on from the last prediction because it has come to pass. I love you guys and I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Be blessed always.